Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. It is Coach's Corner right here from Orange High School in Pepper Pike. DJ Oakley with you with Coach Brody Arendale, uh, first-year head coach of the varsity wrestling program. Coach, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's talk wrestling. I My son is in his first year of wrestling. I'm learning all the different techniques, the scoring, all that stuff. But wrestling is, I, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, on the rise. No, yeah. It's it's something that if, if before the last 10 years or so, if you were into it, it was a kind of overshadowed sport with basketball and swimming and all that stuff. But now I feel like it's the evolution of wrestling and people are getting into it, understanding it better. Um, it, it's obviously at the, the national level, it's, it's blowing up. For you, in a first-year head coach, to manage expectations of what you have in the room, uh, how do you do that and, and what are your expectations coming into this year? Um, well, s yeah, of course, it's a, it's a greatly growing sport and I, I credit that a lot to um, really the inclusion of women in our sport. That's been a major um, thing for our growth and it's, it's just become less, less of a niche thing. You know, other athletes are coming into it and their coaches are edging, egg, egging them on to do it um, just because they think it'll make them better at their other sports. So it, it's been a great um, and, and quick growth, especially in the past few years. Um, but for our own team, I, I think, you know, measuring our expectations for the year, we have a very young team um, and we don't have a lot of, we have one senior actually, so, but we have a big junior class and, and they're full of leaders. Um, you know, we got kids with over 4.5 GPAs who are in the band wrestling, playing football, um, and they impress me every day. And they're the first kids to show up to practice and. You know, we don't just have one or two of them. It's we got, you know, 15, 20 guys who are on a team who are like that. So, you know, it's it's easy to coach kids like that, especially when, you know, they're not as experienced in wrestling because they have so much to learn and they have, you know, all of the, the right mentality in order to, to learn it. So, um, you know, our, our expectations are, of course, we want to work hard. Of course, we want to win matches. But really, I just want to make it fun for them. I want to make this a beneficial thing because – some of these kids are, are so advanced with school and, and other sports and other hobbies that maybe wrestling won't be in their future, um, you know, as far as wrestling in college, but it certainly will help them in, in, you know, other vices that they go in directions they head into in, in their lives. So um, it's a little bit different, I think. First year coach, I mean, what got you into, uh, into the room? Um, well, my last two seasons in college, I just graduated from John Carroll wrestling there. Um, I, I got injured a few times, and, and that was basically the end of it, and I spent a lot of time coaching my teammates there, um, and I, I just, I loved it, and I love the sport, um, and it's like the one thing I can do now that, you know, my, my physical capabilities are sort of limited with my knees and stuff, so um, I just love being around it, and it's always, you know, grounded me, especially in the winter, and uh, it's given me something to look forward to, um, I think that's important. What's What got you into wrestling in the first place? Um, you know, I actually... I broke my hand in seventh grade, and I wanted to play football that year because that's what all the cool kids did. Uh, <laughs> so, but I, I broke my hand right at the start of the season, and uh, I couldn't play football. So my my one friend who's played football too and wrestled, he was like, hey, "You should just wrestle then." And I did it, and I loved it, and 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 then that was that. And I stunk my first year, but I kept with it and got a little better. So for for people that maybe aren't like into wrestling, explain the. I think it's one of the best sportsman like sports out there i mean the, the way that the, the the wrestlers carry themselves um the appreciation they have for one another even when you're you're you have a, a partner you know what i mean um and in the room you you have to have an elite um kind of understanding of this person's not trying to hurt you they're just trying to make you a little bit uncomfortable yep. and score points um for you what is it about the the sport that you love and, and why it's so sportsmanlike yeah, I mean, the respect comes from just a, a deep understanding of how much work it takes to get to the top, right? Um, no one gets to that level without, uh, you know, severely pushing themselves through something that's difficult. So, and every wrestler understands that. Um, every wrestler who's ever succeeded something at, at any level has understands that. So, um, and that that's that's why there's such a great level of respect between wrestlers, for wrestlers, um, because because it just takes an immense amount of work to get to a high level um, and even even be a, a participant in it, not even get to a high level. But 
I, I think that's what that's what brings the sportsmanship in the sport to just a, an elevated level. And because it's so personal, right? You're walking out on the mat alone. You're not with a team, um, and and you're just willing to put yourself, you know, on uh, under a spotlight in front of a crowd of people, and 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 to be that vulnerable, it, it, it's it takes a lot of um, a lot of courage. You mentioned you got one senior this yep. year. I mean, yep. that presents a challenge yeah. uh, when you're talking, but it also presents opportunity yep. for some of these underclassmen. Um, how do you approach that as a first year head coach? And, and you've got a lot of one on one time with with your yeah. senior, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, 95 percent of our team will get me for another year, at least more than 95, I suppose. But so that's good. I mean, it's it's hard. You know, these these guys have been through I think three coaches in three years now. Oh, wow. So finding someone that'll stick around, and that's my plan right now. And so, it's it's a great thing that that I get multiple years with almost the entire team this year. And you know, the one senior we do, he's a great kid, uh, and uh, he works hard every day, and he's just a natural leader. So there's no issue with him. What's your leadership uh, style? I guess for, from a standpoint of of educating and motivating and all the stuff mm -hmm. that comes with being a coach. You know, just making the kids want to be there by making it fun but also having them understand that uh the discipline that they learn from the sport is beneficial for their lives and and making them want to work hard um because you know the kids aren't gonna aren't gonna going to respond if, if they don't want to be there if they don't want to work hard for their coaches for their teammates so it's hard and especially in such a uh, an individual sport like wrestling to to keep them for each other um, it's it's much easier in a in a very highly team sport like football or soccer, so keeping them together and, and making them understand that they're you know with the person next to them every day, um, and j just making it a place of growth and, and development, and trying to help them understand that they're going to get better every day. What motivates you? Um, you know, I, I I've learned a lot from this sport, and you know, my maybe my accolades you know uh, on the podium or whatnot haven't really matched you know where my levels were maybe they have I don't know but um, I just I understand what the sport can do for people beyond you know just their you know getting a medal at the state tournament or at the national tournament um, because it's all I've been forced to learn from it you know because of you know various injuries and other things so um, I just I think I have a, a great understanding of the the benefits of this sport beyond you know the the, the gold silver or bronze medals so uh, and and just wanting to push that towards other kids because you know wrestling is the reason I have a lot of what I do in my life and I'm very grateful for my life so <laughs> that's awesome yeah. coach Arendelle appreciate you so thank much you. thanks for taking some time best appreciate luck this it. season thank you